the Super 8 will be epic. I know for sure because looking at the teams, I know it's going to be an epic battle because the crop of teams they have this time around to make up the Super 8 will be a battle for the fetus. Shooting stars have become a regular customer in this kind of um, competition based on this fan voting process uh, to determine the swap teams that made up the zonal playoff. Now, are you surprised with the teams chosen by the fans? Yeah, I think from the North Centre, CTSC of Abuja is the biggest surprise. Now, CTSC are in the NLM. Now, a couple of years ago, they were not really known. But imagine for a team to beat Spora United, uh, Platy United, uh, Nasarawa United, and Niger to Lagos uh, to qualify uh, to be one of the teams selected for the Super 8. That's a big question mark. And you ask yourself how an NNL side was able to, of course, uh, do better than the Premier League side. Now, yesterday night we had so many conversations about this, whether it was really voted for or not, because when you look at the tweet, let's, let's look at the social media follower of CTX, CTX, for example. They have less than 100 on Twitter. And of course, Quara United have 32,000 on Twitter. So, how do you measure it up? That Quara United cannot make it from North Centre, but you have CTFC from North Centre. So do you have something against CTFC? That works. Good things from the NNL and one thing from the NNL. But in all it is, it is good that Nigerian football is getting back to where we want to see it. Competitive games are happening. We're going to see some of the best teams in Yumba, uh, our age, like you mentioned, shooting stars are also in it. The best team from the league are there. They will play a playoff to determine um, the four teams that will qualify and the two other teams will be drafted to make this possible. Um, um, to make it to join them to the assist will qualify, the two will join them later. And it will be interesting to see how this will pan out to form the Nigeria Super 8. It's exciting time. Okay. Good money involved. Uh, teams want to win money and we're excited too. Okay, I was asking if you have something against CTFC, but um, I'll leave that because you've, no, gone, no, no, you've, no, you've no, gone ahead to check out their Twitter if, followers. If, really, if you put one and two together, it doesn't add up. Mm. Now, they don't have the fan base. In fact, to be honest, how many fans do CTFC? Let's mm. take an average. If you call 10 person... But what if they surprise you? Know, they get to surprise so you at the end of the day. Team. What if they get to surprise you? Because um, the, the, the crop of teams that have been selected for the Super A this time is going to bring, bring a cracker to the Mobile G. Johnson Arena. I'm very certain of that. So, but, 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 very quickly, very quickly, considering the low turnout often associated with the Nigerian football leagues, um, um, nobody wants to watch because of the violence, maybe, or maybe because it's not being promoted enough. Do you think um, this Super 8 will capture a lot of fans to turn out? At the Mobile Adi Johnson Arena? One thing I always say is whoever hosts an event, an event or a tournament, you need the media. And if the Super 8 are not doing the news to be the media, you will not get fans to the stadium. Even if you throw a hundred million, a billion naira into it, you will still not get fans into the stadium. Now, let me show you. Okay. Yesterday, while they were wearing the team, somebody asked the question on social media if the Super 8 is also the Super 6. Fans they will not have proper education about mm. it. And the only way to go about it is via the media. You cannot place few influencers and say you need the, the message to circulate. You need to ensure you also to carry along, carry, uh, carry uh, the media along with whatever mm. thing you do. Mm. If the super eight organizers really want a full house at the Mobile Adjustment uh, Arena, you need to ensure it's okay. a media event. Uh, one or two people cannot do the work alone. It should okay. be an entire media budget to ensure that everybody, you guys are involved and everybody is involved. If you don't do that, if only fans who are probably seen it mm. or heard about it, that will go there. And if you say okay. there's something up for 100 fans, if those 100 fans are doing what they want, you think they will continue to go? The answer is no. So okay. you want to ensure that you sell something better uh, to the 19 Nigerians to be able to convince them to come and watch. This is about six to start uh, in a couple of days. Let's yeah. see how many fans will be at the stadium. I, 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 I was a bit. I was also a bit confused. At the Super Eight, I was. I was also a bit confused. The Super Eight, the Super Six was not really, you know, gelling well for me. No, no. But I, I don't know no, what. Six. I don't know what the whole. No. Uh, I don't know what the whole intention is. No, no, no. But I'm hoping that we're able to get fans understand the reason for the Super Eight. And also understand the reason for the Super Six. Thank you so much, Adidakbo Abdul Quadri. Time not our friend here.
but I did enjoy the conversation with you and I would love to have you again and again and again. And I'll still say happy Children's Day to you, but do not disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. It's really oh, a pleasure. You're welcome.